Maybe we should call it a day now, you know, he's 30, 31. I've seen people after the Laurel, Laurel fight, after that knockout, uh, he should call it a day now, he's going to get hurt. It is just another Lee Wood night, isn't it? Now we do. Champ, listen, another night, uh, just another resilient performance. I'm not lying to you, a lot of people around me, ringside, were sort of saying, listen, this might just be Lee at this fight. Um, might have to just move up after this fight, and then you pull out, I don't know, just but this it's ultimate. The same people that said back in 2014, when I lost for the British title, yeah, yeah, he's not good enough. Or the same people that say, like, after the Dickens fight, oh, maybe we should call it a day now, you know, he's 30, 31. Same people after the Laura fight, after that knockout, uh, you should call it a day now, he's going to get hurt. You know, <laughs> you know what you do? You, you can't listen to them people. You cannot, you cannot be guided or if someone tells you, if you say to yourself, I can, you probably will. If you say to yourself, you can't, you probably can't. That's, that's what I live by. Um, never, never say never. Um, I ain't got to quit in me. And that's, that's, that's pop, pop, massive percentage of winning. You know, if you decide, to quit off, you decide to win. It's a decision. Lee, just talk to me about that fight quickly whilst you're here. Um, you're fighting in South Pole, which I found weird because I've, I've been to many of your fights now. I've been to some of them big nights. And uh, yeah, I found that weird because for the majority of that fight, you were South Pole. I was, I was wondering if you were, if there was an injury, if you were carrying something. Um, what, what was the plan? No, no injuries. Um, I, I do switch a lot of fights, but certain fights, it, it, it didn't benefit me to do that. Uh, last night did benefit me at certain times to do that. Um, and the stoppage actually came when I was South Pole. Um, yeah, we did work on it. We knew that um, there'd be elements in there. Um, there's a few bits, a few little things I missed. But I missed a bit, a bit of timing on certain things, um, but um, wasn't perfect. But a lot of room for improvement if it happens again. Ever, Wouldn't, you never know. But yeah, you know, got the job done. At what point did you start seeing that he was, you know, maybe losing his pace? Because he started off very quick at the start and then you know it seemed like he was losing his pace he stopped throwing their body punches uh, at what point did you notice that it was working very hard to win them rounds um i don't know what the, the thought behind it was because i knew like it's not so much like can he sustain it because it probably could have sustained it but as it was sustaining that without giving too much away like you, you can sustain it but you get sloppier you can't be as crisp and, and sharp and as calculated and as like tight and defensively secure fighting like that for 12 rounds. So I knew my opinions would present themselves at times. And I caught him in the first round and I knew, but that, don't, don't get greedy. I know certain openings are over there and I'll create him and he'll give him a, and he did. Once again, you showed you've got dynamite in the fists. Just that combination, I watched it back a few times, a few different angles available now. It was, uh, it was some serious combinations there. Just, you can never write yourself off. There, there's, a, there's an element of a, like a Carl Froch today, Carl Froch today in the 12th round when he needs to do and pull that comeback out and you did it yourself. Just talk to me about your power, where, where does it come from? To be honest, I always knew I could crack, but since being down with Ben, you know, Ben and Barry and everyone, they're like, it's freakish, they're saying it's freakish power. And I didn't really, I knew I could always dig, but I never really knew the extent of it until they compared to other people and said, listen, you're the biggest puncher in your division, uh, globally. And um, if you look at who the people he's boxed, and um, I don't think anyone's ever done that to him with a, with a single shot, a few shots. So uh, many people have not touched the canvas before. Kanzu never touched the canvas. Laura with a headshot never touched the canvas. Conlon ever been down. Um, Reese Moll. The, the list goes on and on and on. But um, I think it's now it's it's proven. It's some list, isn't it? <laughs> it's some list of fights. It's some list, and, um, and the first the first, like first Brit to first Brit to beat Warrington, and um, <clears throat> I think I did a good job on him as well. You know. Um, I don't think he could have recorded, I don't think he was getting up. I've got to go because my friends wait for me in my room. I had Jack Barry's into it, so I'm going to let him finish it. Thanks a lot. But just before I let you go, quickly, quickly. I know they're saying summer uh, at the stadium. What's the plans in the meantime? Just just going to chill out, relax, because you've had a, yeah, a I tough run. I, I never I never go home and don't train. I always train, so... Um, I'll have a, so yeah, right? that's it. I'll have a break, I'll have my holidays. I'll be training, I'll be, um, I'll be doing a bit. Um, yeah, we'll see what's next. I need a little break, a little break, and then. But I know what I want. Uh, it's just, I just don't know you are you are going to move up though, because obviously know what? I just don't know who. <laughs> okay, you don't know. Who. All right, perfectly. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much.